What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of the internet. Today I'm going to be doing a episode of Storytime's Fun Time, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Now I'm going to be talking a little bit fast because I always do these videos and it always is lengthy. I <laughs> hate the fact that it actually does take a lot of time, so let's try to keep this on the down low of minutes. Now this story is actually about the time I got friend zone and played and it's kind of sort of, uh, you know, inspired by Ghost Sickness. I'll leave a link down below for his channel. He actually does make amazing stories. Go check him out. Little bit of advertisement placement down below. So yeah, this was actually inspired by him because he actually did get friends and it's actually pretty similar to me uh, besides the fact that he actually got some action out of it, which is quite depressing because, you know, I don't get shit. But, you know, I'm, you know, whatever. I learned from the past and I learned from my mistakes. So, also, if you are the girl of that this video is about, I do not mean to offend you, harm you, make fun of you, expose you, or um, aim this in a negative way towards you. I am simply just doing this for entertainment purposes, so I'm not going to say your name or anything about you, so don't even try flagging this video. <laughs> and also, don't dislike this video, because that's pretty. That's going to be pretty fucked up. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, this actually, this story actually does date back to freshman year. Well, I'm saying dating back as if I was like a fucking old-timer. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry for the... Um, mature people out there, you know, I'm just saying old time because I'm trying to, like, say this really fast. Now, I was actually um, down back, you know, in the freshy, 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 fresh meat, and um, I did have a puppy crush on her. Now, I actually did first meet her late freshman year, I suppose, you know, like, s late second quarter, so like almost half the year done, and I actually did get switched out because some new kid came in and, you know, they kicked me out of the class, I don't know why, but um, yeah, that happened, and... I was moved into a new class. Now in this new class, I saw this cute, cute girl at the time I thought was cute. And I was just like, hey, Lamo, you know, like, and slide into her DM DMs, fucking Christ, DMMs, DMs, wow, I'm just like fucking slow. And yeah, I did sit behind her, I was just like always nervous to talk to her, I always thought that she was cute. I only knew her because she actually dated one of my friends back in 8th grade, and <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. I was getting some sloppy seconds, actually, I'm pretty sure it was more because, you know, long story short, many boyfriends. Just him, and yeah, <laughs> um, fuck, I forgot now, I lost my track, so yeah, I always was nervous, I never actually had the courage to talk to her until, besides a couple of highs and haze, until another girl actually came into the class, and I actually started talking to her more, because I actually had more in common with that girl now, she thought she was losing me, I don't know, some shit, she actually like claimed some territorial shit, I don't know what you girls do, you know, you guys are insane, but um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um, she actually did start talking to me more and more after that, and it's it's pretty funny. She was like, nah, 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 he was mine first, get the fuck out. GTFO. And it was actually pretty funny. I, I thought it was pretty funny as well. Um, and during freshman year, all her friends would always uh, text me and like comment on me on my pictures and always talk to me in person saying, uh, when are you guys going to go out? You guys should go out. Cutest couple ever. You guys are so a uh, cute. And all that shit, and you know, like, oh, you guys are gonna get married, I'm gonna be the wedding planner, I'm gonna be the bridesmaid, shit, 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 and all my friends would be like, you know what, just bang and go, uh, rip and dip, and all that shit, you know, multiple, multiple, uh, uh, you know, inappropriate comments and so, and that actually led on to me actually building up the courage to, you know, start talking to her more and more and actually try to go out with her, which actually led to me getting her number and, you know, I'm actually just saying, hey, stranger, with a, like, a smiley face, and have not been replied to in a fucking five months now. She said that her phone was disconnected, which was completely utter bullshit because she actually she's been texting a lot of more people during the year. So that was kind of a slap to the face. And actually, she did um, <laughs> go out with uh, another dude. Well, she says she wasn't going out, but you know we all know you're going out. You know, making out and shit. That's that's pretty much it. And. That was actually pretty sad. So, I actually did ignore her for the rest of the year. Uh, even on her birthday, I did not wish her a happy motherfucking birthday. Just saying. That was a, a Z-snap formation. You know, I'm a sassy mean girl. And I just completely ignored her. When she asked me for a pencil, flip her out. And um, it's actually pretty funny. I was acting like a complete fucking uh, like douche. And I ignored her You know, throughout the whole summer and everything. And yeah. What else? Yeah, during the summer I actually did lose some weight. I got some more. I got some more attractive jeans in me, uh, and some new jeans. Just saying, <sighs> Levi's. And I, you know, got a new haircut. Uh, lost some acne and all that shit. Got a little more attractive, I suppose. And that got some uh, attention from her. Now, 
she actually started off commenting on my pictures and shit, and I, she never comments on my, on my pictures, so I just shows something. And commenting, oh, cute dog, oh, nice haircut, and shit, and shit, and shit like that. And I was just like, um, no. I never actually replied to her. And then, actually, starting in sophomore year, this is actually where it gets juicy. In sophomore year, she actually did start trying to get my attention. She would always tell the person between us to uh, poke me and tell me that if she says hi, it's like, Hey, tell Bossy I say hi. Tell Bossy I say hi. Tell Bossy I fucking said hi. Shit like that. And I actually thought it was pretty funny, but I actually always played hard to get at the time, you know, because, you know, I was a player player. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm actually not. I'm, I'm a fucking dork. <laughs> and, yeah, and so then she actually did finally ask me for my number, uh, surprisingly, and then she actually did start texting me back and forth. We actually were texting back and forth as friends until she actually did start getting a little more um, inappropriate, which I will not be stating because I do not want to get into any trouble or get slapped to the face again but yeah <laughs> uh, we're actually talking and I'm actually gonna show one of the screenshots cuz I was fucking hilarious I made it into a meme so <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll show it don't worry if I hopefully I find it and yeah we're texting and texting and I thought we were going pretty swell and it was it was pretty sad you know later and later and later that she actually did start texting me less and less and less we stopped skyping which is quite sad i was just like oh, okay well okay cool she always makes ex excuses for shit which um actually my friends always fucking told me why go for a girl who makes excuses hey you want to go out sorry my pet roxy rock died okay you know what maybe next week hey you want to go to the movies oh i'm sorry my mom says i can't go to the movies I'm not even kidding about this part and then 30 minutes later hey do you know any good movies that are at the theaters because my friends want me to go to the movie theaters with them and I'm just like okay then well fuck you too no I'm just kidding I, uh, that's what I said in my head I didn't say that to her because I'm a nice person I keep shit to myself and then later um <laughs> I actually uh, let's just fast forward to the end later I actually did uh, during my current girlfriend well past when we were like not really talking we were just like really good friends uh she invited me to her birthday and i was just like you know what on the way there hey yo so and so you know my my best friend yo let's pass by her house and let me just like end this and he was just like you know what do it i believe in you so i like went outside her house with permission i asked her yo can we slide over to your house and she's like yeah sure so i text her we're here she's like oh i'm sorry i'm walking my dog excuse number one and I was just like, oh, okay, I can just wait for you. And she, here's excuse number two. I'm sorry, I cannot go outside. I'm just like, okay, bitch, a simple no would have been fine. And I was actually pretty sad about that. My friends were just like, oh, my fucking God. This, not quote, unquote, dump this bitch. Uh, I was just like, oh, fuck. You know, maybe it's, it's something else. Now, here's actually where it gets, this is like the biggest fucking slap to the face this kid who i honestly despise um when i was actually sitting with her in lunch hold like about to hold her hand she oh well, he actually walks up to her and kisses her and says hey baby right in front of me no like he pushes my face like out of the picture and kisses her i'm just like okay um yeah uh, you know i actually did stand up i was like do you want the seat do you want the fucking seat because apparently you want the fucking girl too so here take a seat please and like he was just like nah nah i i actually grabbed him and pushed him to see i'm just like take the fucking seat goodbye i'm done with this shit and that is actually the biggest slap to the face i stopped talking to her she got pissed off at me for that how are you gonna get pissed off at me i didn't do shit i simply just moved on and i was the one being blamed for that can you believe that shit i do not believe that shit so after all that we actually did become friends again um, I do not have any feelings for her anymore, thank the lord. Um, we're okay, we're not really good friends, we're just friends, you know, like, text if we need any homework and shit like that. We don't go out, like, as friends, we don't go to the movies, nothing like that, we're just acquaintances, I suppose. Um, and it's actually pretty funny, I don't know if this is true or not, and I hope to god it's not, because this is actually pretty fucked up if it is. During one of her most recent boyfriends, who is actually, I guess, I suppose I can call him a friend, I guess, um, he actually did, uh, quote unquote, make out with her during the relationship with that one boyfriend, um, which was pretty fucked up. And he said, he said to my girlfriend, which, and he goes up to my girlfriend, he's like, hey, 
Do you know who so and so's new boyfriend is? I want to know if he's sw yeah, quote unquote, swore or not, so I can stop making uh, making out with his girlfriend and uh, and fingering her. And I'm just like, yo, that's fucked up. Now I'm not saying that's true or not. I'm not saying anything bad. That's pretty much it for this story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, oh well. And if you're the girl, please again, do not leave a dislike. You know, I try to make this interesting. I try to make it <laughs> PG-13, I suppose. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you're not subscribed, why not subscribe now? And I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.